guys, how are you? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Right, well we're on the new lookout for a new bottle dump after uh, something's happened with the last one. Uh, for all the guys that were jumping it and that, I thought it's time to have a wee gander in some woods and see if I can find any. Now I'm out this morning and uh, I've had some no bad finds on a field from here and I've spotted a set of woods about a mile away and I'm just seeing hundreds and hundreds of glass everywhere in the woods so without further ado let's go for a wee recce in the woods and just see what we can find I am hoping for good finds because there is ash everywhere and I am pretty sure this is a bottle dump so let's go for a wee wander and see what we can find so well, guys I thought I'd come into the woods and have a wee recce and see if I could see any pottery pottery, pottery and then I found this CB Barry and that is part of an old bottle so let's go for a wee recce in here uh, quickly we'll just have a wee look yeah, I think there'll be a bottle dump in here somewhere signs of dumping but whether it's a bottle dump or not I don't know Let's have a little gander through the woods, I'll get back to you in a wee minute. That looks like ash embers to me, and uh, that's the first sign that there may be a bottle dump in here. I'm going to grab my shovel, dig a quick pit and see if any pottery comes out. There you go, bits of iron rock all melted together. I think we might be on to something here. Right, so I'm off to get the shovel. And uh, have a wee test pit somewhere and just see what we get. There you go, I've got my first one out. Bottles, a screw top, which means it's not too old, but I found smashed pottery over here as well. I do think there's a dump in here somewhere, but my reckoning on it, it might not be too old. Might be worth a go one day. So, when you do recce, this is what you should just look for bottles on top. And this one's just sitting on top McEwen's, Edinburgh, MCE. And it's still got its original bottle top on it. I'm going to keep that. There's another one, look at that. <laughs> Let's see if this is old. It says cold filtered. God knows what it is, but, but it's cold filtered. <laughs> I'll keep the McEwen bottle, I think. So it tells me there is bottles in here, but I don't know how old these bottles are. So if anybody can help, let me know. So what happened is I just scraped the bit back with my feet and I started getting glass. And then a bottle came out. And then I spotted this bottle as well. Whether it's old or not, I don't know. Yeah, nothing on it. Screw top. But let's have a wee dig here and just see what we get. So here we are, another two just sticking out of the ground. This area is going to need investigating. That could be a sauce bottle. Oh, what does it say? Jai Hines & Co. It's got to be a sauce bottle, oh, and this has got to be a something. Hey, check that out, that's beautiful, isn't it? Here, I think I'll take that with me, that's nice. Beautiful little bottle I found here, I'm going to take that, that's nice. Yeah, there's strands of glass all underneath this rock here. I think we could have found a bottle dump, so this will need investigating in the summer. Oh, now that I've said that, that's definitely going to be the case this summer. Look at this. Just stick it out the ground, please be whole. It's got its original stopper in it. <laughs> you beauty. Peckham's of Co Limited Croydon Glasgow. You beauty of ginger beer. Just sitting on top. Oh, you, f <laughs> you beauty. Oh, <laughs> that's a belter, man. I'm glad I went for a gander in these woods. I now know there's stuff here. And I am going to hammer this area in the summer. Got to be a bottle dump in here now. Beautiful. Love it. Here you go. This is part of a, a, I thought it was an inkwell. Possibly part of an inkwell there. We're getting a bit older over this side. And I'm just wrecking. I've put my shovel down because I've seen this. Oh, it's broke. That's a good sign. That'll be a, a ginger, is it a ginger? It's a stoneware ink. So this one out's a big milk bottle. 
I'm not taking that one, but I'll have a wee scrape about in here. Here's the back end of something. Dundee. Something in Dundee anyway, it says on it. So let's have a wee quick scrape here and see if there's any more. Sorry about that guys, that is a little stoneware ink. But that's a good sign because if you're finding them, then there should be other older ones in here. I'm not going to disturb the place too much, I'm going to leave the bottles where I find them so that I know when I come back whereabouts they roughly were. That I'm not going to take with me. Uh, but I think there's definite potential in here. I'm just having a wee gander about now because there must be others in here. Must be other whole ones, but where they've came from, I don't know. I'm getting closer and closer to the road, so I don't want to show too much because people will know where you are when you find these dumps. There's another one just sticking out the ground. That's not too old either. Let's see if we can find any more gingers or anything like that. Now there's snowdrops. You know what they say with the snowdrops, there's a... Uh, <sighs> some old bottles as well, fragments of old bottles there as well, pottery. I think this is a winner. Yeah, definitely need to investigate in here with a couple of big shovels that we saw. And we'll just give it a go, because I think there could be potential for some old ginger beers in here. That little Peckham's one that I found just sticking out the ground was absolutely lovely. So you can't argue with that. So, fortunately it was just a little investigation to show you guys, you know, what's out there. And uh, if you go looking in the woods, you will find stuff.